Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello from my snowy corner of Michigan. Oh, yikes. I didn't expect it to be this snowy when I came out here. <laughs> so my hubby and I are getting ready to go have, well, we were getting ready to go have some breakfast on this Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, looks like we have some digging out to do though first. Wow. Um, yeah, so I saw we had, I don't know if the camera's picking, yeah, there we go, against that tree right there. Uh, I saw we had a winter weather advisory until tonight, and when I had just gotten up a little while ago, it had started coming down, but now it is, it is really coming down. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, we had to we had to wait around to give Abby her medicine before we could go out So in that time it has really picked up But we were gonna go to the store and get like a snack tray if there's any left because I Forgot today was Super Bowl and I always do like a little Super Bowl. I say a Super Bowl party It's it's me and uh, David and Abby and Damon. It's usually just us and the dogs <laughs> Now we're down to just Abby, but it's it's usually just us. <laughs> like back in the day, it was us and friends and all that, but um, it's usually just us now. But yeah, <laughs> we're probably just going to order some pizza at, on second thought. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, it's coming down pretty good. So I'm going to get back inside and get more appropriately dressed. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. We made it. Even the big boy is snowy today. <laughs> David walks much faster than I do, so. <laughs> yeah, I was letting him know you walk much faster than I do, so you're gonna make it before me. So I figured I'd just show him the big boy outside and everything. So there's our big boy, but he's probably cold and covered in snow. <laughs> hey, Damon. What? What did the magnet say to the paper clip? I find you very attractive. <laughs> you like it? It's my Valentine's Day joke. <laughs> uh, terrible. Terrible. Why didn't the skeleton want to send out Valentine's Day cards? He didn't have the guts. His heart wasn't in it. Wow. <laughs> Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> again. <laughs> hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? So, this is another little bloggy vit, I, bloggy, vloggy vit, vloggy vit, <clears throat> my words, <laughs> vloggy bit. There we go. Um, it's been a day, it has been a day. Um, not necessarily a bad day, just a day. <laughs> David's asleep right now. Um, for some reason, he said that he couldn't, like a lot of times when he starts out with, uh, I haven't slept, he then tells me how I kept him awake. And, like either I was tossing and turning or I was talking in my sleep or something. But no, it wasn't me because he. Uh, a lot of times, like if I am keeping him awake for some reason, he comes downstairs and he'll like lay with Abby or, you know, sometimes he'll wake up because of Abby and then he'll come downstairs with her. And, um, he came downstairs with her, but then he was still, he just couldn't sleep. <laughs> so he'd been awake for 20 some hours. So he was very tired. So he's asleep right now. Um, well, he's been asleep, I should say. Uh, he went to sleep early. 
and then I intended to do this video and get it up Sunday night, and now it's going up really the wee hours of early Monday morning, <sighs> just because time got away from me. But technically, it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> um, I didn't have a real, like, structured video planned for officially today or, you know, for Valentine's Day. But I'm sure I'll probably see you guys um, anyway. But, yeah, this was supposed to be the Sunday night video. So I'm going to still call it Sunday night since I haven't been to sleep yet. <laughs> So you may end up with two today as you're watching. Um, yeah, you're seeing a rare in my glasses. These are like, they're not reader glasses. They are my glasses, but I need to get a new prescription. And I only wear them randomly when my eyes are like really needing some glasses because I've never liked wearing them. And my eyes are on this fine line of like, like I went in when I was younger because these are, are old. I went in and uh, they said like, oh yeah, you need glasses. So I got them. And then the, I wore them, of course, because I was supposed to. And then the next time for my next like eye checkup, they were like, you don't need glasses. <laughs> okay, great. My eyes miraculously got better. Uh, so I didn't get them. And then I went in again for a checkup or whatever a year or so later, needed glasses. So I got them. And the next time I went, you don't need glasses. It's on and off all the time. I'm pretty sure with my old age now, I probably need them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get them eventually, like new ones. But now just when I feel like wearing them, I, I put these on. Um, <laughs> so I guess they're kind of like functioning like readers <laughs> at the moment. But I, I need to get my eyes checked. I need to get David in to get his eyes checked first, though. <laughs> But yeah, so we watched the Super Bowl. We did end up getting pizza instead of the snack tray because I we went out and um, in the snow, had breakfast, and then we just didn't feel like getting out in the snow again to go to the store. Uh, in fact, I didn't go grocery shopping until after the Super Bowl tonight. Um, did any of you guys watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> uh, I didn't really have my team I do like football and American football I should say um cause I like I like soccer uh regular football <laughs> the best but um which my team for that is the Sheffield Blades Sheffield United but that's neither here nor there we're talking about American football today and uh they are the Pittsburgh Steelers, but they were not in the Super Bowl this year, boo. Um, I guess I was rooting for the Bengals because I wanted the underdogs to win. So I, f I felt like they were the underdogs. I was surprised they were in it. But admittedly, I haven't been following them this year or many years, but I didn't think they were destined for Super Bowl fame anytime soon. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm wrong, but like maybe I was wrong to think that over the years. I don't know. I, I didn't historically think they were like amazing, but maybe I was wrong. Um, I mean, they seem to play good this year for anybody that follows football and watched it and everything. But anyway, uh, yeah. So after that, Damon and I went shopping. It was a really rushed trip, so I didn't bring you guys along. I was in the yarn aisle at Meyer, but because our Walmart closed before the Super Bowl was over, boo. And in fact, um, we barely got pizza. We got it from Pizza Hut, and they closed at halftime. Everything closes so early around here. <laughs> it's because they don't have. Um, well, not Walmart, but with Pizza Hut, it's because they're really low staff, so they have really weird hours. Like, on Mondays, they close at, they close at 4 p.m. So, but yeah, they're like, I guess, severely understaffed right now. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, and yeah, it's just been an odd day. Like I said, like, 
Damon had no interest in the Super Bowl, so he did not watch it. David really has no interest either. He watches it with me because I want him to. Sorry if I was shaking the camera, by the way. I just realized I have this, like, I, I, want, I would call it a nervous habit, but I'm not nervous. Uh, I guess you could still call it a nervous habit. Some people probably would, but... And uh, I've got it, I guess, from my grandpa because he used to do it too. But I have this habit of like sitting with my my foot like down on the floor like this kind of and shaking it a lot. So I imagine in this room, since it wasn't a, it was like an addition room. I think I've mentioned that before. That's why it's always cold in here. It's not insulated well. It's a very tiny room and all that. So I imagine I was probably just shaking the camera and didn't realize it. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> If I made anybody seasick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so we watched the Super Bowl. I don't know if any of you guys did watch it, but I didn't. Oh, I almost started doing that. I'm going to move my foot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I didn't find the commercials that great, and my team wasn't playing, so... Uh, I, I crocheted during it a little bit and um I, I did the purple square if you guys have been following my whip weekend and I said I wanted to I decided to follow your guys' advice about backing it with a solid granny square and I picked the purple and was asking what you guys thought I did I did I made a purple square tonight and uh, I backed one of them and I'm in love you guys I'm in love um I'll wait to show you because, uh, partially because I'm lazy and left it in the other room and partially because I want to get more done since I just put out the whip weekend video, like technically yesterday, but really two days ago by the time you're seeing this. Um, but just so you know, I did decide to join, like, I think it was a hundred percent unanimous actually that you guys, um, all said to back it and, 99% of you said to back it with the purple, but Miss Sandy, of course, had to be uh, different <laughs> and suggested doing it with a, I think she said a, like a blanket or a duvet from like the store, um, which I don't sew to begin with, so I wasn't keen on it. Um, plus, like I remember doing in school, we did this like quilting project even I, I don't sew first of all so like with a machine I don't sew at all and I was doing it by hand I was quilting by hand which definitely turned me off of sewing and uh to kind of cheat I used a blanket on the like on the back of it so I did like my sewn squares together on the front and then the batting and then a blanket on the back like a just a thin like blanket on the back with quilting it in between and I didn't like that either <laughs> even though it was saving me a lot of work and all that so yeah I, I didn't do that one but I do love the purple so uh it definitely uh made me happier and more excited about the project again so yay <laughs> um yeah, and then not a lot else has been going on today, but I definitely wanted to check in with you guys. I had to stay up later. Well, I had to stay up later than David because he was exhausted and went to bed, but I had to stay up later anyway because um, even though it's my days off, Abby's medicine time to coincide with my work week it has been moved to 2 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. So I can't just because it's my days off change that because it has to be a pretty steady time. So yeah, uh, she had to get her medicine just a little while ago. So I thought I would come check in with you guys and hang out and all that and get a video up. <laughs> and yeah, say hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm like looking at myself in the camera and I feel like I look so much different like I don't know. It's like it's like I'm like Clark Kent. It is I am a different person. Look, it is me. It's Heather the Crochet Witch. It's me. Did you guys realize? <laughs> 
Like, these are so old, one of the nose pieces is missing even, so I have to, like, tuck it funny on my ear, on one ear, to keep them where I feel they're even to look out of. It's definitely time for new glasses. <laughs> That's why I had to keep my hair down, like, my glasses are actually right here. <laughs> uh, anyway. I think that's all I have to tell you guys. Um, I looked at my P.O. Box thing and my app, and there's uh, some mail coming in maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Um, there's actually a couple pieces of mail coming in. One of them I know about, and one of them I don't. And the one I don't says certified mail, and I don't know what that is. And I've never had certified mail that I'm aware of before. And it's making me nervous, so. <laughs> I don't know what it is, you guys. But we'll see tomorrow or whenever it comes in, I guess. Um, yeah. So what are you guys up to? Did you watch the Super Bowl? Uh, I think it's still snowing. <laughs> um... All right, before I bore you into Monday, I suppose I am just going to say, in case I don't see you, happy Valentine's Day, but I'm pretty sure I will. And yeah, just, I mean, obviously, you guys are all my Valentines. I love you all so much. Um, I hope that you are spending today with somebody that you love. And if you are not, I hope that you're loving yourself. Um, honestly, that's sincere and not sarcasm or like I don't want to say a fake message but like it's not I'm it's not an empty message like I really hope that you are uh because you know I try to stay positive anyway but like you can't do that unless well you can I suppose be fake positive but like it's hard to do that unless you love yourself and I do know that is true and um if you if you don't love yourself I hope that you are taking the steps to be kind to yourself and get to a place where you can love yourself. Let me say that, because um, I've been on all sides of that before. I think a lot of us have, and it's a good day to remember that, that it's a good day to be kind to yourself. Uh, it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a day about loving somebody else. You need to love yourself. We all do. Um, so if I don't get on again, that is a seriously important thing that I want to remind you guys about. Um, I don't think a lot of you guys, we're all smart and everything, so I don't think you need reminding, but I just want to put it out there. Um, and if nothing else, know that I love you, because I do. If you're watching this, I love you. Um, I love you for talking to me and hanging out with me and um, supporting me just by, I, if you're sitting there yelling answers at me when I'm forgetting names of things when I'm dumb on my on my videos I love you for that support that's fine <laughs> like I seriously I support or I support I love your support in any way that it comes so I appreciate you guys and uh more than just on Valentine's Day obviously but hey it's a good day to say it right <laughs> so thank you everybody and uh I will talk to you very soon and I mean it more than ever. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. One more thing I forgot to tell you. I knew something else important and exciting came up today. I got a message from the lovely lady, Wendy, who did my Stranger Things advent calendar from Vlogmas, and she said that in the next few weeks, she plans to put up in her Etsy shop the full skeins of yarn that she's going to put up finally and there will be dk weights available so i can get more of the 11 yarn and the hopper yarn that i really want so now i really need to save some of my money <laughs> um i'm kind of hoping that she puts up a few other colors that i really liked from there like i really like jonathan but um anyway neither here nor there Hopper and Eleven were the most important ones to me, but just wanted to pop back in and say that in case I don't remember later. All right. I do love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye again.
And what you doing, Abby? You hiding? You sleeping? Oh, I disturbed her now. Hi, say hi, everybody. Say hi. <laughs> so David had said we knew um, that Abby would be back to normal if she started sleeping under her blanket again. But basically, we have to keep the couch covered because it actually has a uh, one of those just couch covers from Walmart on it. That's what the brown fabric is because our couch underneath is like a lighter brown. <laughs> and then she has managed to like tear into that because she likes to hide under it. Uh, and then we had to cover that with a big just like soft comfy blanket and she's managed to tear into that and this is like her little burrow <laughs> because uh yeah I'm telling on you yeah I'm telling everybody what you do <laughs> because she's a creature of comfort and uh she likes to get up there I'll come downstairs in the morning and uh you get a good view of the couch from coming down the stairs <laughs> And she's just sleeping, like, under the blanket, which after her seizures, she wasn't feeling like that. <laughs> uh, she was just, like, when she was laying down, she was just laying on the couch, like, normal, like a normal dog. But now she's been cuddling up underneath it, like, several nights. Oh, are you self-conscious now, huh? You're not gonna go burrowing under it now that I've told everybody what you do. <laughs> you want me to leave you alone so you can get back under your covers? You're a sleepy girl, aren't you, baby? Yeah. You tell everybody you're feeling much better. Thanks for thinking of you and caring about you and sending you all those positive, happy vibes and thoughts and prayers and stuff, huh? And you're just going to groom yourself and lick your paws? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, that's the Abby update, guys. <laughs> oh, very sleepy pup. So, we're going to go. But Abby and I love you, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.